Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. So excited for today's video. I have a new Natasha Denona palette to share with you. I'm going to be doing tutorials, swatches, comparisons with the Natasha Denona Mini Metropolis palette. Now I did not pick up the Baby Glam. However, I am going to swatch the colors from the Big Glam that are going to be in there just in case you want to see up close what's going to be in the palette. Let's get into it. Hey guys, if you're new here, my name is Morgan. I am a product knowledge enthusiast. I just love knowing anything and everything about all of the new makeup on the market and sharing my thoughts with you guys. And Natasha Denona is one of those brands that kickstarted my channel many, many years back, it feels like now. Natasha Denona is a staple brand in my collection and on my channel, so I had to cover this. So like I said, I did pick up the holiday exclusive set. This is the first time she's done something like this with the mini Metropolis eyeshadow palette. Now, this set is special because you actually get a free brush which you never get ever it's normally just the palette and this set is available at Sephora at Beautylish and the Natasha Denona website now I pre-ordered on the Natasha Denona website I normally do that just because I feel like that's the way it gets to me the fastest to review for you guys and I like Natasha Denona's shipping a lot it's fast the stuff comes really well protected but I also think Beautylish is the second retailer that I would order from just because they're just as fast and they protect the products as well. Sephora is kind of the last on my list for that but I still order stuff from Sephora all the time but I just sometimes I don't protect the stuff as much as I would like. <laughs> um, but anyways this does say limited edition on the website so this is a holiday exclusive. Now this palette is based on the large size Metropolis palette which was a holiday palette a couple of years ago and I think they did a really great job embodying what the Metropolis palette is. They definitely chose the key pops from this palette to really downsize the huge Metropolis palette which has 28 colors into a simple five pan palette. And they do say that the color scheme itself is inspired by the New York color scheme of the 20th century. So let's take a look at the box that this comes in. It says holiday exclusive, I really like it. And then in the back you have the ingredient list if you need to pause and take a look at that. The names of the color and it does say that cruelty free, paraben free. The palette is made in Italy, love to see it, and a 24 month shelf. Life. So let's take a quick look at the eyeshadow brush. I, I've never used a Natasha Denona brush before, but it's a short handle. I have a very small hand, like the size of a child's, but it's a very, very small kind of travel brush. It feels pretty, pretty soft. I mean, it's kind of a basic brush, but I'm, I'm going to use it today. <laughs> Here's the size in relation to the palette itself. We have the dark green color, which matches the packaging of the original OG Metropolis palette. And the letters on the back are kind of hard to read against this black. I wish they would have done white ink, but obviously that's me being very picky. It has the clear cover that all of them have. It's plastic. I love the packaging of these. I just think they're so small. It's easy to see the colors. Now that she has so many in the line, it's easy to pick through which one you need. And here are the five colors. So here's the catch, you guys, with this color story. And I need you to pay close attention in case you didn't know this. Three of the shades in here are existing in the big Metropolis palette. So if you have the Metropolis palette, this is something you need to listen to because the three existing shades are right here. All of the good shades are the existing shades. And then we have a nice kind of cedar dark brown and then a rusty kind of medium brown, which is really kind of light, honestly. I just went by what they used to describe it. But I would say this is honestly more of a medium to dark brown and this is like light. <laughs> Anyways, these are the two most boring colors and these are the two that I feel like are very easily dupable in your collection. So right away, as you can guess, I probably don't think you need this. If if you have the Metropolis palette. Listen, I was excited for this color story. I think it's really fun for the holidays. I think it's a great way to get both neutrals, but you can also add fun pops. I think this is a very well curated five pan palette. I feel like you can get a whole look with this because you have the beige shade, you have a neutral shade, you can warm it up and then you have the two shimmer tones. You can have this one to keep it more neutral with a golden twist for the holidays, or you can really play with the colors and create a blue. The palette itself 
itself is a beautiful curation and I was really excited for this until I realized all of the good shades in here are in the Metropolis palette and the ones that aren't, I don't know, I feel like we can find them in the Biba palette, right? <laughs> Before we get into that, let's swatch the colors first, then I'll show you what's in the Metropolis palette. So we have Blaze, then we have Rope, which is a warm, they say it's a beige matte, but I really wouldn't call it a beige matte. And then Jubilee, which is a vibrant teal metallic. So this is the high shine formula, the matte formula, and the metallic formula. And these are the three that are in the Metropolis. So beautiful swatch right here. Very highly pigmented. Matte's really pigmented. Swatches, no skipping. Absolutely beautiful. Let's do Bowl, which is a cedar dark brown as they describe it, and then Corrode, which is a rusty medium brown. So these are really great staple colors. I think they're beautiful. And these are colors you're gonna use a lot, but they're they're boring. But that's the palette itself. Swatch is really beautiful. You can see the dimension. I don't have anything bad to say about how they feel. They feel lovely, consistent with the Natasha Denona good formula. So I love the palette itself. Let me show you where the repeat colors are. They have the exact same names as what is in the Metropolis palette. There's not even like a new name for them. Let's see, Blaze is right here. Rope is right here and Jubilee is right here. They're even like almost next to each other. <laughs> I'm sorry, it seems a little lazy to me. I, I love Natasha, but this just seems kind of lazy. Let's see how they look next to each other. I mean, they literally are the identical shades. The formula feels exactly the same. So it doesn't seem like there's a miss in formulation here at all. The colors look exactly the same. They're the same, <laughs> I don't know. Um, I feel like though, Honestly, these two shades, I just pulled out my Biba palette because I'm like, can we get something in here? Like, we can, you know? Like, Tusk looks like Corrode, and then Seed looks like the deeper brown, right? Let's see. Bruh. <laughs> so this is from the Biba palette. I mean, this is a little bit more chocolatey, like a pinch more warmth. I had to do that. Scientific purposes. I needed to demo that for you guys without even putting this on my eyeballs. If you have Metropolis, unless these are colors that you are running low on in the Metropolis palette, you don't need this. And if you have the Biba and the Metropolis, I mean, you have the five shades right here. If you have both, I mean, and you want these types of colors in one palette, that's up to you, but I'm just saying, you have the colors if you have those two palettes. And you probably still have the colors even if you don't have the Biba and still have the Metropolis. Okay. Let's get to the eyeshadow look. So I am going to do this eye and then I'll be back. Okay, so I am going to do pretty simple, easy to do look. I just wanted to do something so that you could see all of the formulations and see what everything looks like and how it works. We're gonna start off with Corrode right here. You can see I'm using the brush that it came with. Honestly, this brush is quite nice. I still feel the need to have other brushes with me, but it's a nice brush. And this shade on my skin tone is probably like a quarter shade lighter. It's the perfect base shade for me to set my eyelid so I can set my entire eyelid with this and it's the perfect shade. I love shades like this. I just find them to be so useful, just essential, you know. Next we're going in with rope. I'm using a BK202. I mean the quality on this mini is really really good. It's consistent with the regular palette formula. Literally they felt the exact same to me as what was in the Metropolis palette. You can see this is very pigmented. It's blending out super easy. I'm gonna use the tip of my brush and just run this along my lower lash line. I don't need the pigmentation built up down here. Okay we're gonna take the brown shade now and I'm just going to add depth. Now I almost feel like this shade could be a little bit darker. I think it's fine in depth don't get me wrong, but I feel like if it was just a tad darker, you could get some insane looks with this palette. It's still pretty dark though. I don't know what I'm complaining about, but I'm gonna run this on the outer corner of my lower lash line as well. Just kissing the ends of the top and bottom of my eye. It's like that. And we're gonna build up this shade, but this is just going to be the base right here. Next up, we're going in with Jubilee. Now Jubilee is beautiful. 
it's pigmented, but I will say I do wish this shade had a little bit more creaminess because I don't know if you can see, but it's not adhering to the lid amazingly like some other shadows from Natasha Denona. I do have to work it in just a little bit, nothing crazy, but this shade does take a little bit of patience if you're applying it like the way that I am. I definitely think you wanna use your finger if you're using it on a larger surface area on your eye, but you do have to be careful with it and you do have to kind of press it into the skin, work it in just a little bit. And then I'm gonna take a brush and then blend those edges. I'm going to take just a ColourPop pencil brush. Make sure you tap off the excess so you don't get fallout. And this is going in the lower lash line or on the lower lash line, excuse me. And with an Isam W21, I want to show you how pretty Blaze is. There's so much dimension to this shadow. Do you see that? And this is with a brush, not even a finger. If you use a finger, the pigmentation is going to be even more insane. And it's already insane by just using a brush. So I'm just using this as my inner corner color. This shade will look beautiful all over the eyelid without the blue shade right here. If you just did these four shades, you'll get a really gorgeous gorgeous glowing golden look but of course I wanted to show you all of the shades on my eye then for a little bit more depth I told you guys I was gonna do this I'm gonna go back into the brown and I'm just gonna pop it out here in the outer corner boom and this is the look I'm gonna throw on liner and lashes and I'll be back with my final thoughts and then we'll talk about the baby glam palette here is the final look. I love this. If you're curious about anything else that's on my face, it will be in the description box as per usual, but how stunning is this look? So if you have the Metropolis palette, you can recreate it as well. You don't need this. My final thoughts on this palette, the quality is really, really great. I think this set in general is a really great deal. And I am fully aware that not everybody collects Natasha Denona palettes like me. So if you don't have the Metropolis palette, I definitely think this is worth it if you you are eyeing it. If you were thinking of getting this for a gift, this is a phenomenal gift. Throw it in a stocking stuffer. I think, you know, the presentation itself is really nice and exciting to whoever you give it to. I wish that she didn't make the repeat shades, the three most exciting shades in this palette. If this blue shade was a new shade, I think doing this alone, making this like a brighter blue, something that's not already in the Metropolis palette would have made this palette worth it for everybody, but unfortunately that's not the case. So if you do have Metropolis, I don't really recommend purchasing it unless you want a travel friendly version of Metropolis, or maybe these are the shades that you are close to hitting pan on. I don't know your situation. You have to decide. But those are my thoughts on this. Definitely worth it if you have your eye on this. Quality's phenomenal. Color story's really fun for the holidays. Just depends, you know. I think, you know, if I didn't have a review channel, I would not have purchased this and I would not have regretted it just because I do have the shades, especially after seeing my review. Okay, I did want to go into the Baby Glam palette. I didn't personally buy it because I had all three of the shades and I thought I'd just show you the three shades that are here. So what I cannot speak on is the packaging, which I imagine, I, I'm pretty sure is the same as this, just like three instead of five. And then I don't know if maybe the quality might be different. Maybe she skimmed us a little bit. I don't know. I'm going to assume that since the Metropolis was just as good as the big Metropolis, that the Baby Glam is going to be as good as the Glam. So I'm going to show you the three shades that are in the Glam palette. So if you have the Glam palette, again, I probably don't recommend that you get the Baby Glam unless you really want a travel-friendly version or you just really like these three shades. So the first shade that's going to be in the Baby Glam is this shade right here, the Outer Eyelid shade. This is so pretty. This is her metallic formula. Let me turn the lights down so that you can see it. So that's the first shade that's going to be in here. The next shade is going to be this crease shade, which is a medium cool taupe. This is quite light. And then the last shade is going to be the transition shade 324CM, which is a creamy matte formula. So this is what it's going to look like. Now, this shade, I don't know, this looks a lot lighter. I am literally going by the numbers. If you look at the numbers on this on the Natasha Denona website, I lined up the Big Glam numbers and name, which are the exact same as the photo here for the Baby Glam. So unless I am mistaking, this is what the palette looks like. The swatches online look a lot darker. But then again, the photo itself, it literally does look like these three shades. 
So I'm still going to go with these are the three shades. I'm like really sure that they are because these are the exact shade names and numbers that they give. But it's a lot lighter than I thought. I wish, you know, she had put in like the lash line shade right here to really give you some depth because this is really light. These are really pretty cool toned colors, but for being a trio, I don't know. Anyways, I mean this I'm like 99% sure is what the Baby Glam is. It's lighter than I thought. It looks lighter than the swatch that I see online but that's what we're working with right here so that's what's gonna be in the baby glam it's $19 I mean this is a much better value for $25 just $6 more you get a brush and five shades the baby glam for $20 I don't know and by the way the baby glam is only available on Beautylish and the Natasha Denona website and it comes in like a little ornament style packaging so it's a really great gift but I'm not as moved by the baby glam and you guys know the glam palette is one of my all-time favorite palettes ever period point blank for 20 bucks I mean this is like 65 I mean I know it's a very different price point but you're getting so much more with this palette you know anyways I'm not as excited for that one but just wanted to show you that <laughs> all right you guys that is all I have for today's video that was my review on the Natasha Denona mini metropolis as well as giving you some info about the baby glam I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you found it helpful let me know are you picking either of these up and if you are do you have the metropolis palette are you choosing to overlook the repeat shades or are you staying away from this palette because you have the metropolis palette i seriously want to know where your head is at with that being said thank you guys so much for being subscribed to my channel and liking this video i will see you guys in the next one bye guys have a good one